Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Wendy Jo, and I am so excited to share this video with you. If you've been following me since the beginning or maybe just in the last few weeks, you know I have been working on getting this channel monetized, or maybe you don't know. After two and a half very, very long years, I am finally monetized on YouTube. And it's because of you guys, honestly. Um, you guys made uh, this video go viral and that just kind of pushed me over the edge of the 4,000 watch hours. And uh, yeah, so I wanted to just quickly share with you guys um, the fact that I was monetized and kind of show you my journey of getting monetized because it was probably not, I don't know, maybe it is the traditional journey. I am a testament to don't quit because it probably took me way longer than the average person to get monetized on YouTube. And part of the reason is I literally did quit after working so hard for so long, I just got completely burnt out and stopped doing what I was doing. And so I'm gonna show you behind the scenes, I'm gonna show you how much I've made so far. It hasn't even been a month yet, so um, it's not too exciting, but at the same time, it's exciting to me because I know there are other people out there that are just getting started on YouTube and they're like, what does it take? And you just never know, to be honest with you. You never know if your content is going to just hit that perfect algorithm and just take off or if it's going to take you forever, which is what it took me. Basically, I started my YouTube channel, decided to start posting some videos probably a year after two years after I actually created the channel. So I didn't really have it for anything other than to just kind of like look at other people's stuff. And then I started posting because my TikTok went viral. And a lot of my followers here came from TikTok because on TikTok, when I very first started on there, you could only post, you know, the shortest of short little videos on there. And so I was teaching people how to earn passive income, like this is not working. So I came to YouTube to start doing long form. And then of course, TikTok added 10 minute videos, but I'm like, well, I'm already doing it here on YouTube. I'm going to stick with that. So, you know, I started working on that and um, I'm going to share, you know, some of my screen here, but you know, I started working and posting and then I just got super, super um, burnt out and did just could not, like, I just could not content create anymore. And so I stopped and, you know, I, I kind of like, I stopped in April of 20 or May, I think it was actually of 2020, um, two. And it was, you know, it was what was that like the end of COVID post COVID? Like, I don't know. It was just, um, I was a mess. And so I stopped posting and then, um, I took it back up again, seriously, in January of 2023, I'm like, I'm going to finish what I started. Um, because there is one thing about my super creative personality, and that is I start things really well and I don't finish them necessarily because I get burnt out. Um, I move on to the next thing, I get bored, whatever. But I really do love creating content on here, and I didn't start the channel to make money with it. It was not you know, it wasn't necessary. I already have eight streams of income. I didn't need another one. Um, but I'm like, well, let's follow the journey and figure out what it takes to actually get monetized on YouTube. And so, you know, I want to share with you a few things that I feel like are my takeaways of getting monetized and how much I've made, uh, and what I think that that's going to look like in the future. So let's jump in and have a look at the analytics, we're gonna go to the last 365 days so that I can show you exactly um, what <laughs> what happened and how, um, how long it took and all that fun stuff. So I'm gonna take you guys behind the scenes as I always do with all my videos and show you exactly what it looks like inside of my YouTube channel, some things that I never look at in my YouTube channel and um, what it took to get monetized finally. So um, this screen here is the lifetime of my account. So I actually created this YouTube account in April of 2020. And as you can see, let me see if I can make this actually show up. I did not post any videos until February, March, let's see. Here we go. I posted my first video in February of 2022. And the interesting thing is, is this video, how to upload digital templates and files to Etsy is 
by far my most successful video I have ever posted. It has the most views uh, and it has continued to rank at the top every single 28 day period of the most viewed videos. Sadly, it's a four minute video, so it does not um, bring in a ton of watch hours. And so this was in February of 2022. Fast forward to right here, I posted Unlocking Etsy Success, Create a $96,000 Digital Product. And this is the one that pushed me over the top. And as you can see, it went crazy high. I was so close on my watch hours. And this is the video that I woke up to, I think it was August the 25th. Um, I think it was August 25th that I actually woke up to, you know, congratulations, you've hit 4,000 watch hours, you can be monetized. And because I am so, I don't even know the right word, I guess anal, I had already done all the things that needed to be done on the back end in order for me to get monetized. So as soon as I was monetized, I was able to hit the apply for monetization and within probably an hour I was approved because I had already done all of my verifications on Google, I'd done everything I needed to do. So I was ready to be monetized. But what happened is 2022, so I stopped posting in 2021. Um, I got burnt out. And so in 2022, in February, I posted my first video in a very long time, very long time, like six to nine months. And so basically I was starting over on my 360 or on my 4,000 watch hours, 365 days because I hadn't posted anything. And so, you know, I had a couple of videos that sort of took off ish when you're kind of watching. And that blue line though, is that how to upload digital templates and files to Etsy. You guys, it just keeps going. Um, and then when we flip to 2023, um, it, everything kind of like looks teeny tiny now because I had videos that took off, which then makes everything else, um, kind of disappear. Um, so yeah, so I got monetized on August the 26th was when I got the email or the 27th. That's when it was. And so my very first day I made $2 and three cents on August the 28th. The next day I made $15.13 because of that video that was going viral. And then it's kind of tapered off since then. And you know, $109.69 in just right at a month because today is September the 22nd. So it's technically my first full month being monetized on YouTube. And I mean, it's not huge, you guys, it's not. And that's okay because it will grow and it will all be okay eventually. I was so excited. And to be honest with you, I was really hoping that like my first first 30 day or yeah, my first month on here, I would be like, I made a thousand dollars. That is not the case <laughs> at all, but that's okay. Um, I know that eventually I will have other videos that go viral and you know, that's, that pay will steadily increase. And it is just another passive income stream mostly passive because I do have to create the videos. Um, but it's exciting to have one more, you know, stream of income, even an extra hundred bucks a month. Hey, that like a nice dinner out. What did I do to finally like get my channel monetized? You know, the first thing I can tell you is, is consistency is key. You need to post regularly. When I started in January posting one long form video every single week, sometimes two, and then I also started posting at least two or three shorts a week. That is when my growth really started picking up momentum. So you've just gotta be consistent. And that's probably not even enough if you wanna grow really fast, but five kids, you know, crazy life, that was the max I could do without like putting myself into burnout again. And so, you know, when I started in January, so from January to August, I was consistent. Maybe I missed one week or two in there, but for the most part, every single week I was posting that schedule and I got monetized in August. $109 in a month almost is not like, you know, anything to write home about, but it's money that I didn't make last month because I wasn't monetized. So that's exciting to me. And um, so I'm gonna break down some of the numbers and stuff just to show you what that looks like. But the first thing was consistency. The second thing, um, I really started working on my thumbnails to just kind of give them a little bit more consistency. And um, I found a couple of other creators that I kind of liked what they did. So I went off of that and started creating my own that were you know, more along the style that I liked. 
and also were catchy. And then the third thing was just really optimizing more of my titles and my tags and descriptions. And here's a funny story. The video that made me go viral, that pushed me over the 4,000, I say made me go viral. I had, I've had a couple videos that went semi-viral. They're not like in the millions of views or anything, but for me, for my, me and my channel, they're viral. Um, but the title of that video is created by vidIQ AI. Yep, I said it. So all of this time, me creating my own titles, and I try one time, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna use vidIQ and I'm going to use AI to generate this title. And wouldn't you know, that title, I feel like is what pulled people into that video and uh, made the video take off. So um, I don't know, I don't know, I'm pretty impressed. So since then I have used it a couple more times just to you know kind of help me a little bit with my titles because I'm like, well, maybe I'm not being like, good enough with my title content to you know draw people in so you know that was so the first thing was consistency the second thing was my thumbnails and the third thing was using ai to help me with my seo and then also just doing a lot of seo research and tags and that kind of stuff vidiq and tubebuddy are my two go-to's when it comes to finding and researching the content and that kind of stuff and then just searching directly on youtube too is a huge help because you can search what it is that you're wanting to create content about and filter things out to see if the videos that are about that content are actually getting views within the last 30, 60, 90 days. That's a really great way to do your research. Um, and then I would say the fourth and final thing would just be that I did not quit this time. And that was what took it because I'm telling you, like you create video after video after video, and you just kind of start to wonder, am I ever going to get monetized? Is it ever going to happen? I, the, one of the interesting things I found was that once I got monetized, my views on all of my videos started going up, not just like the ones that had gone viral, but my views on all my videos went up. So that was kind of cool to, um, to see how, and I don't know if it's because they push you more in the algorithm because you're monetized, because that's always been a question. Like small YouTubers are like, um, oh, well, they don't push our content. They only push big creators. Well, I'm not a big creator but I did get monetized and I did see an almost immediate increase in my traffic to all of my videos. So I'm not sure, like I, I have no way of knowing, but I told you at the beginning of this video, there's one thing I never look at and I'm on that page right now. And I, what I don't look at now, I, I'm over here all the time, but I do not allow my eye to go over here. And that's because it's the likes versus dislikes. And it, I don't know, you guys, I am like such a sensitive soul that if somebody dislikes my video, I'm like, uh, why? And I mean, part of it, it could be the content, like I'm talking about something negative about Etsy and people are like, oh yeah, that makes me so mad, dislike. Or they just don't like me, I don't know. But it's always interesting to me that people actually take the time to dislike a video. <laughs> and so I never look at it because it like discourages me when I see this, like I re it really does. Um, and so I just never ever look at it and if I could find a way to actually hide this column I would because I just don't want to know um, It is not an analytic that I even trust uh, because I'm like I can look at a lot of other things to figure out what people like and dislike inside of my account and um, I don't really care about this so um, Because sometimes I feel like you get like these chronic um, dislikers who just go through and dislike your content all the time because they um, don't like you or they like somebody else that does content like yours and so they're trying to make them better by making you worse. I don't know. And it's kind of interesting too that I hit 4,000 subscribers about the same time I hit 4,000 watch hours. Like literally, so here's August the 26th, I think, or 27th. I was at 3,700 and that's the day I got monetized. And then I hit 4,000 subscribers the 30th. And so it's interesting that like they kind of went hand in hand, the amount of subscriber subscribers versus the amount of watch hours. So I don't know if that is normal or not. So, I mean, there's definitely a ton of um, cool stuff in here. Um, oh, the other thing I wanted to show you was my CPM. It's clicks per million is what it stands for, but it's really like per thousand um, views, I think it is. So my average is $13.85. 
Um, so it changes depending on your video content. But you can see like 17, 18, this one pays me $42.39 um, CPM, which is really high. And so it all just depends on the content that you post based on like the topic. So the most, the most profitable niches on YouTube are talking about money and finance, relationship, health, um, and money and finance are up there at the very top because um, advertisers, along with technology, because advertisers spend the most money in those niches. And so they, you, your CPM is way higher. So like if you had a vlog and you weren't like a, you know, million follower vlog, I'm talking about you just, you know, you just got monetized kind of thing. Your CPM is going to be more like, you know, two to five dollars. And so that was one thing I knew I would have going for me with this channel is the fact that it was about finance and money and those types of things. And so my CPM is very, very high. So I feel like as things continue that I will get more videos that do this and I will be able to have more of a steady growth and steady passive stream of income from this. So I hope you guys um, have enjoyed the journey thus far. I wanted to make sure to share with you what it looks like to get monetized, share with you my numbers. Um, I'm very excited about the CPM on my channel, which I knew it would be good because it was about money and finance, but um, that's something to keep in mind. If you're going to start a YouTube channel, um, number one, know that it's not gonna be passive right away, or maybe ever, I don't know. Like The type of content I create will never be totally passive on this channel. Now my other channels are very passive because they are like faceless music, videos, that kind of stuff. Like I don't have to do anything like this. It's very passive. But this is not a passive channel um, because I am on here making content every week. But it does create residual income off of it. So, you know, you, you just need to know that it's gonna be a lot of work and it's gonna take probably a lot of time. I would say probably on the norm, it's about a year of creating before you get monetized. Um, and then, you know, the next thing would just be to pick your niche carefully because if you're doing a vlog, you're great to do a vlog, but you're probably not gonna make a lot of money. It's hard to get monetized um, and get a good following unless you have a very interesting life. Like if you travel a lot or something like that, you might have a better chance of success, but vlogs typically don't pay a good CPM. So, you know, technology, money, finance, um, relationships, those types of categories are gonna pay a whole lot more than uh, in health. Uh, but I think technology and money are like the top two and um, they're gonna pay a lot more, whereas vlogs and those types of things are gonna pay more in like the one to $5 range. May, you might get a little higher than that, but advertisers aren't paying to put stuff on vlogs typically, but they are paying to put stuff, put advertising on videos that are about money, technology. Those are the advertisers that have the money to invest. So just something to keep in mind. Yeah, but I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments and questions. Make sure you subscribe. You can check out the video that made my channel get monetized is this one right here. So if you wanna go check that out and see what it's all about, and it's also the one that um, the title was created by AI. So there's that. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I will be back next week with another tutorial and more content for you. Bye-bye.